Hey, I'm Johnny K. This is part 12, inspecting and installing the oil pump for the big block Chevy. On your oil filter adapter, it requires no gasket. You can put the relief valve towards the crank or away from the crank. My relief valve has been epoxied over. It's worked like that for 20 years. Anyway, you just put the oil filter adapter in. Just take your oil can, squirt some oil on the bolts. Grab your torque wrench and just torque it to 13 foot pounds of torque. That's it, you're done. All right, let's talk about the heartbeat of America today's Chevrolet oil pump. Okay, the oil pump. It's one of the most overlooked items on your motor. You just buy it, you put it on, and it works. But I recommend, even if it's a brand new oil pump, take it all apart, inspect it, make sure the gears are okay, everything's copacetic, and I take some Joe Gibbs assembly grease, I put it all around the gears, stick the gears back in, I'll turn the shaft, I'll work that assembly grease all around the gears. And what this does is this helps to prime the oil pump faster and it gets oil flowing quicker throughout your engine. And the grease, the Joe Gibbs assembly grease, it completely dissolves in the motor oil. We won't put the cover on yet. Okay, so we took some gum out, we sprayed it on here, we sprayed it on the oil pump, we made sure this is all wiped smooth. There's no gasket needed here. When you're installing your oil pump, this is the rod that attaches to it. Some of them have a nylon uh, coupling, but on more of the high performance one, it's just a solid steel. Now that you got your oil pump bolted onto your motor, we're going to stop and we need to check out two things. We're going to check out the clearance of the gears to the cover of the oil pump to make sure we have proper clearance. Then we want to check out the oil pump pickup to the bottom of the oil pan. And we want to make sure we have the correct height that's very important. Grab your straight edge, set it across there, grab your feeler gauge. Okay, it's a little snug. Move your feeler gauge all around, your straight edge and feeler gauge. Kind of move it around just to see. Okay, I got a little drag on my feeler gauge as it goes in, comes out. I got three thousandths, point zero zero three. So now, there's no gasket that comes with these oil pumps. Put the cap on. I like to use uh, Loctite, the blue Loctite. Put a couple drops on the threads. Then go ahead and put your bolt in with the Loctite on and torque it to about
Okay, now our oil pump is on. We just got done checking our clearance from the top of the flange to the top of the gear. We're good. Now there's one more clearance we have to check. We need to check the oil pump pickup screen in relationship to the bottom of the pan. Now, Melling oil pump manufacturer, that's the oil pump I have on my big block Chevy. They recommend 3 8 to a half inch from the pickup screen to the bottom of the oil pan, 3 8 to a half inch. Now, other engine builders like to see a little closer. They want to see the pickup screen here, the oil pan here, that's about a quarter inch to 3 8 so that's up to you. I like to keep mine at 3 8 if I can. If it's at 3 8 happy days. The first way to do this is to get some modeling clay. You can go to your hobby store, get any color you want. Okay, now you got your modeling clay. Take a piece of paper, trim it to the exact size of your pickup screen. Because you don't want your modeling clay going, getting smushed down into your screen. Place a piece of paper over your screen. Then take your modeling clay, cut it to about an inch thick. Then, take your oil pan gaskets. You just need a side gaskets, no RTV. We're putting them on dry. Lay them on dry, just set them on place. Then grab your oil pan, place your oil pan over your rotating assembly. Take four bolts, put them in the corners, torque them to 12 foot pounds of torque. And then you know what's next? You guessed it. Take them suckers out, take off the oil pan, and then you can take an outside mic and check the squish of your modeling clay. Or you can use a tape measure, eh, 3 8 close enough. Since you have from quarter inch all the way to half inch, if it's somewhere in between there, cool. The second way to do it, it's probably a little quicker. All that you need, your oil pan gasket, just for one side, take a magnetic torpedo level, place that on your oil pump pickup screen, get a straight edge, and this measure up from the oil pan gasket, have it sitting on there, push down tight, and read it to uh, the bottom of the torpedo level. Whatever that says, write that number down. Then take your torpedo level and your straight edge over to your oil pan and do the same thing. Place the torpedo level across the oil pan rails, take your straight edge, measure straight down to the bottom of the oil pan, Take the two numbers, subtract them, bang, that's it, and you're done. So either method works. That's the oil pump lesson for today.